Item Number SCP-2679 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures a 5km fenced perimeter has been established around SCP-2679. This perimeter is to be maintained as private property by MTF New 5 blind watchmakers. Efforts to prevent SCP-2679's ongoing expansion are underway. New SCP-2679-B instances are to be exhumed at regular intervals. Any observed changes are to be documented. Description SCP-2679 is the site of the Sleepy Oak Meadow Cemetery, located 45 kilometers northwest of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. SCP-2679-A instances are graves found throughout SCP-2679. As many as three new instances of SCP-2679-A have been observed to emerge in a single day. Tombstones will extend upwards from the soil, a process which takes 4 to 12 hours. These tombstones vary in size and shape, but are otherwise non-anomalous. Each bears the name Jeanette Parslov. Coffins appear approximately 1 to 4 meters beneath each instance and contain an instance of SCP-2679-B. Instances of SCP-2679-B are the remains of various organisms. Footnote 1. Similarities between the effects of SCP-2679 and SCP-3422 have been noted. Investigation into a possible connection between the two phenomena is ongoing. To date, personnel have observed over 1,000 SCP-2679-A instances. Manifestations continue to expand out from the center of SCP-2679. Research into methods to prevent the emergence of additional instances is underway. Addendum 2679.1 Autopsy Findings Subject SCP-2679-B-012 Examiner Dr. Richard Briner External Examination Adult human female, height of 1.62 meters, mass of 45 kilograms, abrasions on fingers and knuckles. Internal examination. Physiology consistent with typical young adult, otherwise unremarkable. Inspection of lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Footnote 2. Insufficient oxygen supply to the lungs. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. No matches in Foundation databases. Notes: Hypercapnia is the likely cause of death. Footnote 3. Elevated carbon dioxide levels in blood. Presence of physical trauma indicates prolonged struggle before the subject succumbed to hypoxia. Subject: SCP-2679-B-075. Examiner: Dr. Richard Briner. External examination. Adult human female, height of 1.65 meters, mass of 48 kilograms, acute albinism. Footnote 4. Characterized by lack of skin and hair pigmentation. Severe abrasions on forearms, hands, and digits. Cutaneous avulsions on distal phalanges. Footnote 5. Complete removal of skin tissue. Presence of numerous subungual splinters. Internal examination. Unremarkable. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. Near identical match to SCP-2679-B-012. No other matches in Foundation databases. Notes. Hypercapnia is the likely cause of death. Physical trauma, including significant interior damage to the coffin, suggests a prolonged struggle and possible self-mutilation. Subject. SCP-2679-B-129 Examiner Dr. Julia Blair External Examination Adult human of indeterminable sex, height of 1.72 meters, mass of 53 kilograms, acute albinism, subject lacks hair, androgenic vellus or otherwise, visible genitalia or secondary sex characteristics. Severe abrasions and dermal avulsions across subject's body. Severe lacerations present along forearms and a fracture in the left radial bone. Both eyes extruded. Footnote 6. Forcibly removed. Internal examination. Internal reproductive organs are absent. Examination of cranium reveals minor yet significant cephalic abnormalities. Pelvic bone used to determine sex. Female. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. 
Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. Additional X chromosome, XXY, indicates Kleinfelter syndrome, but with atypical presentation. Subject's skeletal system presents as female, not male. Close match to SCP-2679-B-075. Notes: Hypercapnia was the cause of death. Evidence suggests damage to eyes was self-inflicted. Subject: SCP-2679-B-526. Examiner: Dr. Julia Blair. External examination: Human of indeterminable age and sex. Height of 1.79 meters. Mass of 62 kilograms. Acute albinism. Subject lacks hair, androgenic vellus or otherwise, genitalia, or secondary sex characteristics. Deformities include supernumerary phalanges at fingers and an ophthalmia, both eyes. Footnote 7. Supernumerary phalanges, additional knuckle bones. Footnote 8. Anophthalmia, the absence of one or both eyes. Severe abrasions and lacerations across subject's body. Numerous fractures and breaks are present, particularly along the maxilla and nasal bone. Three teeth, two from the maxilla, one from the mandible, are broken. Internal examination. Internal reproductive organs are absent. Significant reduction in size of frontal lobes. Footnote 9. Portion of the brain responsible for personality and cognition. Acute hyperplasia in amygdala. Footnote 10. Enlargement of organ via increase in cell reproduction. Pelvic bone used to determine sex. Female. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis indicates significant deviations from human DNA. No matches in foundation database. Notes. Subject asphyxiated. Internal damage to the coffin led to its collapse. Subject was crushed beneath the weight of the soil, preventing respiration. Evidence suggests damage to face and jaw were sustained during repeated strikes against the coffin's lid. Subject SCP 2679 B 985. Examiner Dr. Richard Briner. External examination. Bipedal humanoid, height of 1.95 meters, mass of 89 kilograms. No discernible sex, age, or reproductive organs. Acute albinism and lack of hair, androgenic or otherwise. Extensive deformities are present and include, but are not limited to, expanded mandible and lower maxilla, acute hyperdontia. Footnote 11. Specifically, 15 additional teeth, 7 in the maxilla and 8 in the mandible. Atypical dental morphology, elongated secondary phalanges protruding approximately 5 centimeters from fingers and toes, an ophthalmia, both eyes, and a recessed or absent nasal dorsum. See attachment B-985 for complete list. Subject has severe lacerations and dermal avulsions across its body, along with acute swelling in the abdominal region. Internal examination. Approximately 20 kilograms of soil removed from stomach and intestinal tract. Severe structural aberrations throughout subject's skeletal, pulmonary, and central nervous systems. Laboratory data. No matches in foundation databases. Notes. Subject asphyxiated. Internal damage to coffin led to its collapse. Forensic analysis of gravesite indicates subject persisted in burrowing upward for 20 minutes before succumbing to hypoxia. Addendum 2679.2 Recovery On September 2, 2014, reports of an expanding cemetery led to the discovery of SCP-2679. In addition to 14 instances of SCP-2679-A, nine non-anomalous graves were found. All were exhumed for relocation. Of particular note was a tombstone with the following inscription. Jeanette Parslov, 1994-2014 Daughter, sister, mother, wife, you were far too young to lose your life. Whatever it takes, do what you must. Whatever the cost, come back to us. Upon exhumation, the grave was found to be empty. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Brody Hartman, Rubbishbin69, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.